comment, and subscribe. Okay, so today we about to do a skincare routine. Found some new products and your girl gonna test them out. You know I'm a skincare girly on a budget. So we gonna try some stuff that I found in the Dollar Tree cause you know, <laughs> your girl love the Dollar Tree. So um, the brand is Global Beauty Care. There it goes. Don't come for my nails. They not done. <laughs> but the first one is a smooth and lift collagen eye cream. And you see that little Tiffany blue packaging they got. The other one is going to be another smooth and lift collagen facial serum. This is that one. Smooth and Lift Collagen Skin Cream. And they also have the facial cleanser. So we're going to go ahead and use all of these. Plus, it's going to be a guest appearance from my ice roller. So we're going to use that today. So first, we're going to start off with the face cleanser. Let me wet my face. And another thing, always make sure your hands are clean when you're touching your face and doing skincare stuff. My hands was clean, but I'm going to go on ahead and double cleanse them. Okay. So, face already wet. Okay, it says to use wet your face, squeeze a little bit onto hands. Add some water and massage in your face. Oh, I can't deal with water in my eye. And see, I like it has that little silver closing, closing piece, closure piece on it. Security. Okay, so this is how it comes out. It's kind of thick. That's the amount I'm using. It's a little thick. It smells like a cleanser. It don't really have a strong scent to it because I can't do them scented cleansers. And always make sure you get under your neck. get the rest of this off my hands and get my facial exfoliator scrubber. Go ahead and wet this up. Let me turn this water off because that's real loud. I would use my mic, but with me using all this water, well, I could have attached it to my bonnet. Let's see what they got some juice. Cause I don't be charging it like I'm supposed to. Now with this soap, I can honestly tell you, it do not suds up a lot. So I am going to use another cleanser on top of it. I'm sorry, because I need to see the suds. But let me get the mic in. Let's see how this sound. Okay, so in this clip right here, I did lose sound because I tried using my mic, which I should have known wasn't going to work because it wasn't charged up. But I went ahead and used a different facial cleanser, which is the Neutrogena Oil Balancing Cleanser, simply because I like the way it foams up. Getting a little bit more water on my face because I had dried everything out. And then here you go. 
getting that lather back right, always have to remember, get underneath that neck. All skincare, you have to get that neck as well. That is a part of your face, if you ask me. I don't know how to everybody else feel about that. But I'm going to go ahead and do the voiceover, which is my first time doing it on this video. But because of circumstances, I'm forced to. So went ahead and got the exfoliating round scrubber. I don't even know what the real name for that is. But as you can see, we gone ahead and getting deep down in that skin, making sure we got everything clean like we should. Um, if you do not have one of these, I suggest you invest in it. Y'all know I like skincare on a budget, so it couldn't have cost me that much. But I'm going to let y'all watch my face go ahead and cleanse and marinate for a minute, and we're going to get into the next part. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I do not remember what I was saying during this portion of the video, but we still cleansing that face, making sure we getting all that dirt up out of the skin. Now I'm pretty sure we about to go ahead and rinse this face and clean it and everything. Now we're going on to the next product. I hope you guys were able to screenshot that so you can see what it was because like I said, your girl memory shot to hell. I don't remember which one that was. That looks like the under eye cream, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it's the under eye cream. And I'm telling you guys that I can never get this shit out of the packaging with that little round security tab on there. Yes, the under eye cream. So we go ahead and put that underneath the eyes. Y'all know I love under eye cream i have the dark circles up underneath my eyes so anything that can add some moisture some hydration to that i'm game for it so we finna put that on then we gonna rub that in and yes your girl is learning less is more when it comes to that under eye cream because i'm tired of having my eyes burning putting that on so we finna go ahead and rub that in that product right there it worked but baby when i tell you it was burning my skin it was literally burning my skin like the product but there has to be a better way so we finna go back in to rubbing this into the skin rubbing this up into the eyes and getting that in Do y'all see that mole? I have never really realized how much that mole aggravates me until I'm having to do this voiceover. Now, the next one I'm using is going to be the serum. And yes, I'm using a pen to open it up. It is what it is. And I like the fact that it is a dropper, like... That one has peptides in it, hyaluronic acid, and another one, I'm not even sure how to pronounce in this clip right here. I'm trying to spell it for y'all, um, but I'll get back to y'all in the comments and let y'all know what it is. But you know, we're going to do our normal drops on the face. I'm telling y'all that the um, product is... Um, I'm letting y'all know that it is a liquid consistency and it is runny and we're going to do our normal four to five drops all over the face and we finna go ahead and rub that in always in an upward motion the same way when you're cleaning your face you're getting your neck when you putting your creams your serums and all of that on you need to make sure you're putting it on that neck as well. Go on here to make sure we're getting that all the way rubbed in on the skin. And baby, that thing went in nice. Now, the products do say that they're supposed to give you a glow, a youth-like finish. And the next one that we're going on to 
is the cream. And in typical fashion, it is the normal Dollar Tree sizing, which I am going to be saying in this clip. Not that I do remember, but I was reading y'all the directions on how to put that on. But, you know, we're going to go ahead and get into that, too. I know I'm going to have to redo this video, but come on. We opening it up. We getting ready to um, put this on our face, our normal five I think it's four to five dots. Forehead, chin, both cheeks, and nose. And yes, I am doing a voiceover, so I'm probably talking about this a little bit faster than how it's being shown in the video. But y'all bear with me. This is my first voiceover. Like, I think your girl's still doing good. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments. But what my real downfall was, was that mic. It was the mic. And it was my fault. Because I knew I didn't have it charged up. I even said it. But there it go. Nice little consistency on the cream. And we finna go ahead and rub that in as well. Now I think the next clip coming up, your girl got her sound back because the mic completely died out on me see i'm doing this voiceover for this part because the mic had not yet completely died and it left my sound <laughs> that was the sound it was giving and i'm not here for it but yeah we going ahead getting that in the skin it does have a tacky like consistency so i'm telling you right there i feel like that'll be a good cream to use right before doing your makeup and putting on your um primer because i'm here for the tacky but i'm letting y'all know i like this cream and just reading some of the instructions and the ingredients off of the back of the bottle Now we're going to do our lip scrub, which is still the St. Ives Watermelon. I'm a lip gloss girly, probably own trillions of them. And your lip gloss go on so much better when you do not have all of that dead skin. So your girl is working that into her lips for a couple of minutes. Probably not even a couple of minutes. It probably really only was just one. But you got to work that in. And the lip gloss that I'm going to be putting on in this video is going to be the Yummy Lip Gloss. It's a coconut. It's coconut something. I'll let y'all know in the comments. And yeah, your girl a dumbass. She dropped the camera. Like, come on. Get it together. Get it together. Okay, in this clip, I was showing you my lighting because I felt like the products that we were using in the video was giving the glow that it was supposed to give. And I didn't want y'all to think that it was just solely the lighting. I was using regular room house lights. Like, it wasn't nothing serious. Now, we about to get this scrub off our lips. And then we about to go in with the Yummy Gloss by CoverGirl. The one that I was using was Coconuts About You. And when I tell you, gloss goes on so much better with smooth lips. Like, yes, and I'm putting some on now as I do this voiceover. Because when you get all that extra crusty, dead skin off, baby, your lip gloss lipstick any lip product just goes on so much better just had to put that out there little disclaimer you feel me but y'all seen how it's gliding on straight butter yeah your girl got a ear itch had to go ahead and handle that too Now that we done did the face, 
I'm going to show y'all what lashes I wear. And this is where I hope my sound came back. Okay, so sound had not yet come back. So we're doing lashes next. I'm going to show you the pair of lashes that I'm going to use because I am going to double stack them. Um, and I'm going to show y'all the glue. Um, I'm pretty sure y'all seen me use it in other videos before, but it's the duo glue. And that's what I'm going to let y'all look at right now. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and use that clear duo glue. And y'all can tell by how much is in the container. Your girl really be putting on lashes like it's a must. Now, I do wear my lashes stacked. And I'm trying to show y'all like because my eyes are big. I normally don't have to do much trimming to my lashes other than the two corners that little bit of extra on the lash band I have to cut off but that's about it so you see me doing it right here I'm trying to get y'all a good angle of it but yeah. not the best see that but you can see it right, right there now. that little bit of extra band I cut that off on both sides Cause you don't want that cutting in on the inner part of your lash or hanging off the end of your lashes. I don't know about y'all, but I don't want it. That shit is aggravating. But we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then get this glue laid down. We are doing it for both of them. So I'm gonna try to show y'all on both pair. This is the second pair. That little piece on both sides. I won't want none of that pinching in the corner here or hanging off in the corner here. Now, now let's go ahead and lay this glue. I do put oh, lash know. glue on the Get inside part of the band, and I also put lash glue on the this top. Too, I'm showing y'all, your girl really out here wearing lashes all the time because, baby. I be going through some glue and I legit only put lashes on once a week because normally because of the way that I put my glue on my lashes, even with me cleaning, sweating in the gym and at my job, they normally still last me a whole week before I get any lifting or separating from my natural lash. But inside the band and on the top of the band is where I'm currently putting the glue. And it is, I like the clear glue. Or it looks white when you first initially put it on. And then it dries down that um, bluishy clear when it's tacky and ready for you to put your lashes on. Because it don't take too much of nothing to put them on. So we're going to go ahead and get into that. even on my lashes, even with me going to the gym, and me keeping them clean in between. Every time I wash my face, I still This is what the glue is looking like right now. It's by them. Okay, 
this is the first one. And y'all know your girl like dramatic. So this is what the first one looks like. Let me go ahead and get the other one on. look like with my glasses on. Hold on. About through outside of the regular prescription that I did get. Hold on, this one right here acting like it want to droop the doop. I can't have one up high and one down low even though I do have a lazy eye for y'all that cannot tell. And the lashes do make it a little bit more prominent. Um, but that's neither here nor there. That I normally rotate out between this one is the first one. Not, I'm not even gonna lie to you. for this pair of glasses because this one is not the bigger of my frames that I have. But baby, this one on that I like the most. Do you see? Baby, I love these glasses. And I'm talking about these that bad. <laughs> Zilu. Zilu. Yeah, Zilu. Okay, that's the first pair. Second pair. D. Okay, now when I look on a little bit more professional look. Okay, and the last pair of glasses, I really just ordered them because I wanted to see, and this is what they look like. Just a little fun, festive pair of glasses. And the lashes don't touch these at all, as you can tell. Now, y'all been splashed by Taylor. Your girl running out of storage, so I'm going to have to end this video like this. Y'all have a good day. Happy Monday. Remember, motivate yourself if nobody else will.